Hello and welcome to Linux Experiences on Deck Edition. And today we are going to have a look at Elite Dangerous, how that plays on deck. Elite Dangerous has already gone through Vice certification process, but it got marked as unsupported. And I hope I can show you the reason why. In general though, once it is working, it seems to work pretty fine. You just have to learn the controls, but that has always been an issue. At least for me with the game. Um, if I'm using my HOTAS or if I'm using the gamepad controls. So this is more or less one of the first times I'm using gamepad controls to play Elite Dangerous. But as Elite Dangerous has also been available on consoles already, it should be a thing that is steerable. So if you have a look here at Elite Dangerous and go to the game info tab, here we can see it is unsupported. Vive is still working on adding support for this game on Steam Deck. Um, nevertheless, this is using Steam Play Proton 7.0-1 as pre-selected. Um, it is starting the launcher first, which is connected for me with my Steam account to the Frontier account already, so it will just show me the play button. And on this screen, I am using um, the touch screen to log in. So showing the launcher here. I have not tried Odyssey yet. So when I install this from Steam, it is um, installing Horizons. So I can press, I will show, I will hold it like this. I am pressing the play button with the touch screen. It takes a while to load, but the game will eventually start. Showing the splash screen and the typical Elite Dangerous starting sound. Now I'll hold the deck a little bit to the side so you can actually see a little bit better how I am operating the device. Also, performance is pretty good on this when it is working, but I'll try not to show you uh, what the issue is. So once you have this started, you should go to the options real quick, go to graphics, display and switch the full screen to borderless. I will keep it now to borderless just to log in. Graphics have been auto selected to high. And uh, that works really well. I will join here my private session real quick. Shadow cache should be warmed up. Should load quick enough. And I'm here. Let me go to the surface. Of the orbital stockage station here. So I can press the right stick once and then it is in free look mode. This looks great already. Uh, I can open the performance view. Set this to 3 and you see this is running at the moment even at 60 FPS. Pretty smooth. But let's see. I will turn it off again. If we can reproduce the issue, why this got probably marked as unsupported. Because the standard is to have this in full screen mode. You have to apply though. Uh, yes. And now let's see if you can bring the issue up. So I'm pressing the stick again and looking around. Might take a while. And here we go. We have serious flickering going on. The screen is kind of showing in the top left corner. So let's open the menu again. I see it barely. This options. This should be graphics. Yes. Then the first one is display. Is it open? It is. Ah, it, it's gone. So it goes away for a while. 
after a few seconds and that's the time you have to put this into borderless mode so apply and when it's in this mode it's pretty fine i had no issues so far so let's uh, select a destination to go to the buttons actually have a meaning for example um, x is deploying and re uh, retracting the hard points b is boosting or using the frame shift drive um, with the triggers uh, with the with the triggers you um, shoot and with the shoulder buttons you accelerate and deaccelerate so let's launch while we are uh, finding a target to jump to um, we can jump to the next system where are we right now let's have a look at my bookmarks something that's not too far away Oh, this is far away. What do we have close? Maybe just to the next... Um, to the next... base here. With the D-pad we can switch between the options to select here. With the shoulder buttons we switch to the tabs on that side. Let's just jump over there. So we align our ship with the left stick. Gain some speed. And uh, hold to go into... I still have to learn this control, so it's a little bit tricky for me. Super cruise mode. Oh, we're still mass locked, that's why. Let's gain some speed. Boost. With the D-pad, we can assign energy to with the D-pad up to the engines. Let's wait until mass locked is gone. Now we are ready. So press B. Was it B? Oh, it was Y, I guess. Frame shift drive charging. All clear. Flight control signing off. Four, three, two, one. Engage. And we are overshooting. So space trucking is totally a thing on the deck. Once you got that quirk with the full screen settled. Y will be the key or the button to jump out of uh, Super Cruise. But it will show when once we reach the distance. Here we go. Let's get into range. Let's show the overlay again. To see how well this runs. So we are in reach. We hold the X button to open the side panel with the Shoulder keys, we go to context and request docking. Docking request accepted. Proceed to your designated path, Commander. Then we can slow down. And as I have a docking computer installed, it will take over. 
and dock. We do hear the uh, Walzer. We can look around here while that's happening. That's our landing pad. But even though it does not hit the 60 FPS all the time, on the small screen, it feels very, very smooth. At first I had only played the tutorial, the pilot tutorial, and that worked pretty well because all the controls are of course explained then. But yeah, we docked. We can refuel, we can use the carrier, carrier services. Uh, this works all pretty well. We can even go to the hangar. Let's have a look when this carrier will jump out. Maybe there is information on that. Hmm. All good so far. Yeah. This is Elite Dangerous on deck. Even though it's an unsupported title, you can play it. And maybe there will be an option that will allow to set this to um, borderless instead of uh, full screen. And then the flickering will be gone. Performance is good on deck. Um, one of the examples where the unsupported does not mean you cannot run the game. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Have a good one. And uh, bye bye.